Hey everybody, I'm here to do another series discussion. For this one, we will be talking about One Piece by Eiichiro Oda, and I'm in particular talking about the East Blue arc, which for the manga series is the first 11 books. So this series was released in the late 90s, and then published in English in early 2000s, and it is one of those series that is a very, very long series. It's still ongoing. There's probably like, I don't even, it's like 700 episodes of the anime and the volumes. I don't know where the manga is online because the online ones are longer obviously than what's published in English but there's 73 volumes I think published in English. The number one reason I held back on reading this was actually the animation and this was when I was younger when that mattered to me like art style isn't so much matter to me nowadays as it did back when I was younger when I used to draw a lot of anime and it just wasn't my cup of tea I would say so that stopped me from wanting to even try picking it up. finally picked it up because one of my friends is re-watching it with her boyfriend who's basically read and watched all of it and is up to date with everything that's out and I was like I'm gonna try picking it up because they kept ranting and ranting and raving about it so I was like okay I'll give it a try read the first two volumes that I had already purchased a long time ago. You know that you know that I hauled this a while back and really enjoyed it. Watched about 8 episodes of the anime and then for my birthday I asked Brian to buy the first box set for me and he did. So that gave me the first 23 volumes. What I liked about the box set is that now the manga actually has like what arc is on it. So um, this is called the East Blue Arc. It is the first, basically, first story plot that happens in this series. Let me just give you a quick background on what it's about. It is about a character named Monkey D. Luffy, who is out on a quest to become the King of Pirates, basically. He wants to be the most famous pirate in the world. So he starts off his journey by himself. It's him col slowly collecting crew members. The first arc that I have, he collects his first four, three, three, one, two, three. He collects his first four um, crew members. So the first one he gets here is Zoro, who is like a master swordsman. Um, and then he gets Nami, who is his navigator. And then he gets Usopp, who at this point in time doesn't have an exact job description, but I've heard he gets one later. I think he's like their sharpshooter or something later on in the series. Not so much right now. And then he also gets uh, Sanji, who is his cook. You would think that being a pirate, he would be like merciless and evil and all that, but Luffy is the opposite of that. Luffy is hilarious and funny and not the smartest character sometimes, but definitely the bravest character and I love him. What's really special about him is that he got a hold of what's called a demon fruit, which are these fruits that have special powers when you eat them, and he ate what's called the gum gum fruit, which gave him the power of rubber basically. His body is made out of rubber. The negative side to eating a demon fruit though is that you can never swim. Like you immediately drown. If you get in the water you drown. Which is really bad for a pirate who wants to basically live on the ocean. He cannot go in the water without drowning. So that's the negative to it but it gives you special powers and so he ate it anyways. First few volumes are his adventures with collecting each crew member and their background stories on how they met Luffy and how they ended up joining. Uh, I would have to say my favorite background story so far has been Nami's. Hers kind of made me cry actually a little bit. Hers is a little bit sad. But the East Blue arc is almost half of it is about Nami's background because it's about them fighting this famous fisherman who is a pirate leader it's supposed to be like the most evil uh, powerful pirate leader in East Blue 
there's different oceans. There's west blue, there's east blue. And for the east blue, they are the most powerful. I'm gonna go and show you each cover for them too. So we have volume one, volume two, volume three, volume four, volume five, volume six, volume seven, volume eight, volume nine, volume 10, and that's the leader right there. I don't know why I'm forgetting his name. And volume 11. Oh, another big thing that I forgot to mention is that the series is called One Piece because Luffy is after a secret treasure called the One Piece. It's said that if you find this treasure, then you can then call yourself the King of Pirates. So since he wants to be the King of Pirates, he's after this treasure. So they're on a journey once he collects enough crew members to go to this place called the Grand Line, which is um, supposedly where this one piece is at the end of it. And at the end of the East Blue arc, they just got to the Grand Line, so I am just starting that, and I'm probably going to do um, a review, an arc review, about each arc. So the next one, arc that I have to read is the Baroque arc, which I have that one as well, and I will go over that in my next One Piece review. Anyways, highly recommend this manga series. Very, very funny. At the same time, it's very serious. And again, Nami's story almost brought me to tears. So it can be very emotional sometimes, but also very, very funny. And I enjoy each character it has their own like little quirks about them. And it's, it's amazing. I don't know why it took me so many years to get into this series, but that is all for this series review. If you have any comments, questions, leave them down below. Let me know if you've read One Piece as well or are planning to read One Piece or have watched it at least, watched the series. Please let's talk about it in the comments and I will see you guys next time.